Okay, question nine is a modelling question. Um, it says a research engineer is testing the effectiveness of the braking system when the car is driven in wet conditions. Um, it measures the um, braking distance when the brakes are applied at different velocities. And it's given us the graph of D against V, but it's also given us the graph of the log to the base D, uh, sorry, log to the base 10 of D against log to the base 10 of V. And if you notice here, we, it's produced a straight line. When it produces a straight line, that suggests that we've got a good model. Okay, so the fact that this is a good model means we can work out the relationship that's going on in this in the in the, that actually links D and V together. So if we think about this straight line graph here on the right hand side, that means we've got um, the y, if you like, we can link it to y equals mx plus c and say that log to the base 10 of d is equal to some multiple of log to the base 10 of v plus k, but they've told us k, or c I should say, is negative 1.77. So how do we make this look like this? Well, I can bring the m up as a power. I can write this as a log to the base 10 of 10 and bring that up as a power. And then I can divide by these because the bases are the same. So that's V to the M over 10 to the um, 1.77, which means um, because they're both log to the base tens, we can then say D is equal to V to the power of M. And I can say that this is times by 10 to the negative 1.77. 10 to the power of negative 1.77 is 0 0.0169 or 0 0.017 which is exactly what they had in their function here. They've just got the K at the front. So 0 0.017 V to the power of M. I used an M for the um, gradient. They've used uh, an N, that doesn't matter. Okay, they want to part, in part B, they want us to work out the value of n. So to do that, we're going to use the fact that this point is marked on. We've got that when v is 30, d is 20. When v equals 30, d equals 20. So 20 is going to equal um, the k, the 0.017. So we are going to use k is equal to 0 0.017, not the, not the better answer that we had on our calculators. They've told us to use exactly 0 0.017 um, times by 30 to the power of n, 
we've got to find n. So to do that, I'm going to divide by the k. And then log both sides. So if we do log to the base 10, because we used 10 earlier. Now, notice I'm writing k down. When I come to use the calculator, I'm obviously going to use the 0 0.017 that they've told us to use. So n comes to the front. So n is going to equal log to the base 10 of k, uh, sorry, 20 over k divided by log to the base 10 of 30. Type all that in. I get how many significant figures I'm guessing three yeah 2.08 for our n value is 2.07876 blah 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 so find a complete equation so we need to write the actual equation down so d is equal to 0 0.017 v to the power of 2.08 Sean is driving this car at 60 kilometers per hour in wet conditions when he notices a large puddle 100 meters ahead. It takes him 0 0.8 seconds to react before he applies the brakes. So we need to first of all work out how, long, how far he travels without applying the brakes for. How far does he get in 0 0.8 seconds? He's traveling 60 kilometers per hour um, 0 0.8 seconds in hours is um, well. Let's convert. Let's convert this into meters per second because then we've got the right units for both of these. So 60 kilometers per hour is the same as I need to times by a thousand to turn it into meters and I need to divide by 60 to convert it into minutes and then 60 again to convert it into seconds so he's traveling at 16.6 recurring meters per second how far does he get so that's his velocity how far does he get when t is 0 0.8 we need to know what the displacement is so we know that that speed is equal to distance over time. We're going to do 16.6 times by 0 0.8 seconds to work out how far he travels. So that is 13.3 meters. That's recurring as well. So he's actually only got um, 86.7 recurring sorry 86.6 .6 recurring meters to stop so does he stop in less than 86.6 .6 meters that's what we're going to find out that's what we're going to use the model to find out so the model is um, that d is equal to 0 0.017 times v which is 60 to the power of 2.08 so does this number come out at less than 86.6 .6 meters and it does just So, yes, he will stop in 